Hello friends, welcome. In this video I want to show you how to set up the windows for Laravel sale. We need to download the Docker desktop. So if you go to the docker.com and download the Docker desktop application, I have downloaded. Also I have downloaded the table plus for Windows. I want this to open the database, so I use as the database UI. Also I have downloaded the VS Code. You can use PHP Storm or the new Fleet. And I'm going to install also the Z shell and the oh my Zish. Okay, let's open the CMD. I'm going to open as a administrator. And let's run here WSL dash dash install hit enter and it's going to install the windows subsystem for linux okay now we need to reboot the system so i'm going to restart and i'm going to see you in the next part okay so here we are now we need to add the username here and the password retype the password again and now we have the ubuntu in our system okay now let's uh, install the docker Click OK. And now while the Docker desktop is installing, let's work with the terminal. So let's open the terminal here. OK, open the Ubuntu. Let's zoom it and let's say sudo apt update, add the password. Okay, it's done. Now let's say sudo apt upgrade. Very good. Now sudo apt install build essential and I'm going to add the curl file and also the git hit enter everything done good now let's say sudo apt install the z shell click enter and everything okay now let's see the version of z shell and we have the 5.8 very good now we need to install the oh my Zish. so scroll down and copy this command here and paste in our terminal hit enter and here we have now the Oh my Zeus. Now you can choose uh, what themes you want. And just for now, I'm going to add uh, one of them. 
just I'm going to pick one so maybe maybe this one you can choose your what you like so I'm going to choose this copy and now let's uh, open the SHRC not SHRC like this I to enter and here in the theme remove this and paste that we have copy colon WQ and now say source as HRC and yeah we have the theme we chose okay now the docker is installed and we need to close and log out and then log in again so i'm going to close and see you there okay so here we are let's uh, say accept here and now the docker desktop is starting I have installed the table plus so if I search for table plus here we have okay now I'm going to skip the tutorial and I'm going to copy this command here but before doing I'm going to go in the settings resources WSL integration and I'm going to check this click apply and restart and let's open again the desktop the docker desktop okay and now if I run the docker here now we need to reopen the terminal So let's select the Ubuntu here and I'm going to zoom it and let's paste again and now it's going to create the docker very good in the Laravel it gets started and here you need to check allow I'm going to go in choose new sale services and I'm going to choose with uh, MySQL and Redis here just copy open the terminal and I'm going to make a directory so let's say make directory and I'm going to name sites and now let's navigate in the sites directory and paste that command here hit enter and for the first time it's going to take a uh, too much time when he, when he finished I'm going to come back okay so after some time the application is ready and now if I cd in the example dash up and run the dot slash vendor slash bin slash sale up I'm going to start the docker container and here we have also the docker and of course if i come here on the browser and just go to the local host and hit enter here we have the project and let me open a new ubuntu and let's say here i'm going to zoom let's say cd in the sites directory and cd in the example app i'm going to open this with a vs code okay just open and i'm going to zoom it and now if i go to the dot env file here we have the database I'm going to open the table plus here and now let's make a new connection a new connection 
for MySQL. I'm going to name this uh, Docker. And host is local host. Port is 3306. So what we have here now add the name and also the password what we have here and the database name copy and paste the database test and connection is okay click connect very good now let's open again the terminal okay and i'm going to say here uh, a dot slash vendor slash bin slash sale artisan migrate and it's creating the tables and if we open the table plus we have all the tables here this is now how you can uh, set up the WSL with the windows for Laravel sale and now if I come here and let's copy again we can create again the so I'm going to terminate this we can create again the application and now is much more quick so just let me say my app here hit enter and as you can see just starting for the Laravel because all the dependencies we installed in the first one and of course if I open the docker as you can see it's going to create another component another application sorry add the password and now just let me cd in the my app and run the vendor bin sale app very good and if I come here, here we have the my app here and if we refresh we see this one but just let me open a new Ubuntu zoom it and cd in the sites directory cd to the my app now and open this with the VS code okay now here we have the Okay, I'm going to trust this. And now here we have the My App. And of course, if I go inside the resources, views, welcome. And just remove everything in the inside the body. Click Save. Come here and refresh. We have a blank page. That's it about this video, friends. How to set up the WSL for Windows and Windows for the Laravel. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next video. So all the best.